Right, hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and how it is actually a thing but not for console unfortunately. I will be discussing that of course. In the background you're going to see Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. I was actually planning on going back and playing Modern Warfare 2 like the console version you can play through of course Xbox Reverse compatibility but I couldn't find a game. I actually could not find a game. I went back on there tried to find a game and I could not find one. So I'm going to talk about that today as well and kind of why it sucks a little bit for us that this Modern Warfare 2 Remastered uh, info and news and all this stuff going on and the hype that's around this right now is a shame that it's not on console. Kind of discuss the need for it to happen for console too. But anyway, Modern Warfare 2 is getting remastered. How, what way, and when, where. Basically, Modern Warfare 2 has been remastered. It has been made for PC, and we've heard this all before. You know, we've seen mods and stuff and done all that. It's the same case again. A mod, a team of, you know, developers has came together and managed to make a mod called, I believe it's called H2M. Yeah, H2M is the mod, which completely overhauls the 2009 original Modern Warfare 2. This is also not built off of actually the Modern Warfare 2 engine. You have to own and download a copy of Modern Warfare Remastered on PC. Now, this is probably the reason why this is this mod will actually stand the test of time, because we've seen it before. Modes of mods made for like, you know, COD 4, etc. to be able to be played on PC properly. And then they get shut down by Activision. But the reason this one will probably stand is because this one forces you to buy a copy officially. OK, and I know some people are probably going to go out there and pirate the game, but you have to officially buy and download the game. If you go look on the Steam charts right now, Modern Warfare 2, uh, sorry, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare Remastered is one of the top five or top three most downloaded things on Steam right now because so many people are hyped for this. Now, I don't have any footage, unfortunately, but if you guys go on Twitter right now or YouTube or anything, just search around for H2M Modern Warfare 2 uh, mod, you will see how amazing this looks. This looks like one of the best mods ever done. Like, it has campaign as well, the multiplayer. It's all been remastered, and it looks insane. It's built off of the MW remastered engine, and it just looks amazing. It's just basically updated graphics. It fixes the one-man army, fixes noob tubing. It's basically Modern Warfare 2 fixed and updated for the modern era, and it looks incredible. And I'm seriously thinking about it. Like, I don't really game on my PC, like, if ever. I might seriously buy a copy and play it on my PC and maybe, you know, play a couple of games on there. Because right now, Modern Warfare 3 is a little bit stale. We're obviously dealing with the lag and stuff, and, you know, and the, the game's falling apart a little bit. But to play a nice, lovely Modern Warfare 2 remastered here in 2024 sounds amazing so yeah over the last few days on social media it has spread like wildfire like i said it's one of the top most downloaded things on steam it's incredible but it's called h2m the mod and the mod basically overhauls everything with modern warfare 2 it makes it updates the graphics it makes the game more playable essentially like you know no one man army isn't going to take over like it used to back in the day like we have to deal with on console if you can get into a lobby that is but yeah, it's the full game, everything, multiplayer, you name it. And there's clips going around like crazy. And when can you play this? It is arriving for PC players on August 16th. Okay, if you are guys are all interested and wanting to play this August 16th, make sure you have a copy of Bottle Wolf Remastered on hand, you know, on your PC. And you will be able to download the H2M mod and play Modern Warfare 2 Remastered in 2024. And it looks incredible. Like I said, I might actually go out of my way to get this and play it on PC and see how it goes. But yeah. It is an unofficial mod, so it's not official at all, and it is not affiliated with Xbox or anything like that. So I, I don't know what Microsoft is going to think of this, because of course Microsoft now owns Activision, so it's kind of their call what goes on with this. Like they could shut this down. It is a very, you know, possible. It's a possible thing. It would massively, I think, go against them though, because I think a lot of people would be upset about this, the uproar as well, because there's no reason for this to shut down. Like you have to buy an official copy. It's a mod for a game that you literally have to go out and pay. And I'm not being funny, but Activision and Microsoft are making money here, so I can't see why they shut this down. But you never know. Stranger things have happened. You know, Activision and Microsoft have always made done some weird decisions here and there. But it looks incredible. It's it's just the proper nostalgia filled like Call of Duty that we want. You know, none of this BS that we have nowadays of the Battle Pass and Season Pass and SPMM and all that. Proper raw Call of Duty experience. It has camos like move like proper animated camos and stuff. So it's kind of reimagined as well the Modern Warfare 2 experience without taking away from the original Modern Warfare 2 experience. It looks insane. Like again, make sure you go out there and look at the clips first before you just take what I'm saying at face value. Honestly, go and look at the clips. It looks incredible. The sniping, the ACR, everything. It looks insane. But yeah, so I want to talk about it, not just for the fact that we've now got a Modern Warfare 2 remastered, of course, for a mod that should officially stand, like, and you know, it's not an official release, but it should be allowed to stand 
based off of the fact that it forces you to go out and buy a copy, whereas all these other mods kind of allowed you to play without buying a copy. That's kind of what got them all shut down in the first place. But I want to talk about it here, about what this could do as well for console, because obviously I'm a console gamer, just like you guys, we've covered a lot of Xbox on here, but it's also aimed at those on PlayStation. When are we going to get Modern Warfare 2 Remastered on, on console? And is this going to spark that conversation for Microsoft? Because Microsoft is going to see this. They're going to see, hey, we've got a lot of people downloading MW uh, Remastered in order to be able to play this MW2 Remastered mod. And the sales are going through the roof. And if this like stays and you know has a player base, which I imagine it will, because PC, you know, there's always a community that gets built. And especially for those who love Modern Warfare 2, there's a chance here that Microsoft might see this and be like, hey, Activision, it's time to start on that Modern Warfare 2 remastered, uh, you know, game. Like, it needs to happen. And this could spark that conversation for Microsoft. So I'm more excited, not just for the fact that this is existing and is able to be played for those on PC and is just a great mod in general, but the fact that this could spark the conversation for console to get its own Modern Warfare 2 remastered and a console Modern Warfare 2 remastered, as much as it's great, it's on PC, a console remastered Modern Warfare 2, if done correctly, if done a little bit better than what Modern Warfare Remastered was done, because again, that was done okay, but then they kind of let themselves down a bit, didn't they? You know, they added weapons and they added this and that. I didn't mind there being skins and stuff, that's whatever, but when they were adding new weapons and stuff, that kind of took away from the experience. Some people also said that it didn't fully, like, uh, how would I put it, feel like the old experience most people said. Now, obviously, that'll be, you know, because of newer consoles and stuff. It's going to be a little bit different, but people said it wasn't too similar, like, to the actual COD 4 experience. So let's hope this sparks the conversation and the chance for us to get a model for two mastered and you know Activision said uh you know uh Microsoft sees this and thinks hey why not make a model for two master on console especially as we are in dire need of one as much as we you know we talk about old cod games coming on the game pass and stuff and you know putting model for two on the game pass I want you guys right now, for those of you who can, go on Xbox, go and put in your Modern Warfare 2 2009 copy, or if you have it that, you know, installed from the store or whatever, try playing it right now here in 2024. Like I said, I was going to make a gameplay with that in the background, but I couldn't. I could not find a game. The only lobbies I was getting into was modded lobbies over and over and over again. And a remastered right now would help alleviate that problem. It would help alleviate the fact that we have to deal with modders, the fact that there's hardly anyone playing these games. You know, not, not many people are playing MW2 2009 here in 2024. We're, we're, there's not much chance of playing it. And if it even comes to the Game Pass, I don't think that's going to solve too much, to be honest. As much as I would be hyped that it would be on the Game Pass, I think it would last so long before eventually we'd end up losing out. You know, I think the player base would die off. And because the game's so old, it's just not going to hold up. Like, the graphics aren't amazing. You know, the game does feel a bit, you know, have input delay for as well. Playing through Xbox Reverse compatibility does give you input delay. And it's just not a great overall experience. And I don't think that's going to improve too much with a bigger player base. It might do. It might revive the game. But for how long, I don't know. You know, we've seen with Modern Warfare 3, actually, there's been a lot more players because of being on the Game Pass. So, yes, it'll probably do that. But ultimately, I don't think this is the way to go. I think what this Modern Warfare 2 Remastered mod is going to show us is that people want a new, fresh, updated experience of the classic OG experience so that, you know, to, to be enjoyed here in 2024. Now, obviously, it's not going to happen in 2024, but I'd like to see it happen. I'd like to see something being talked about, at least. I'd like to see Microsoft and maybe, you know, acknowledging this and saying, hey, we've seen you guys are enjoying this mod, you know, on PC and, you know, you're installing and blah, blah, blah. Why not go out there and, you know, make a console version or even a crossplay version, you know, what's to say they wouldn't just go out there and make one that, you know, you can play console and PC now. Would that work? I don't know. I don't know what a PC and versus console sort of uh, Modern Warfare 2 remake or uh, remastered would do. Don't know if that would be unbalanced or not. We'd have to see. But I think this, the, the conversation needs to be had and I think it really needs to happen. You guys let me know in the comments down below. What do you think, Shav? Do you think, you know, that Microsoft should go on the tangent of eventually putting these old COD games onto Game Pass? Or do you think a model for two remastered, especially after what we're seeing on social media with this H2M mod, is the way to go and that we need a console version of what PC is getting? Because PC right now, you you guys are eating well, okay? Like this is, the game looks insane and I highly recommend playing it and downloading it when it was available. Again, August 16th is when the mod becomes available and you need an official copy of MW 2019, uh, MW remastered. But yeah. I think it should happen. I think we should get a console version of this remaster. And if you haven't already, 
get ready for H2M mod on PC if you can and give it a shot. It looks insane. I might even give it a shot myself and get some gameplay. You guys let me know. Do you want me to do that? Do you want me guys to get gameplay, you know, showcase you guys what, about the H2M mod? Let me know down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.